So let's solve challenge nine. We're going to create a new Xcode project and we're going to call it iOS application, single view application. We can press next and we're going to give it the product name passing data challenge solution. And I'm going to go ahead and give it the class prefix CC in the device iPhone. I want to make sure we create a Git repository for this project. So I can press create. And we're going to be updating our storyboard first. So let's go to our main storyboard file. And the first thing we want to do is we want to embed our view controller inside of a navigation controller. So this way we'll be able to add additional view controllers that we'll be able to transition to. And we'll be able to use a push seg and get that nice back button for free. So let's go to editor and we're going to go to embed in and we're going to select navigation controller. And I'm going to go ahead and drag these little part a little bit so we see this nice transition. Notice that the white arrow starts at the navigation controller which is where our application begins now. So let's go ahead and add the UI button to our view controller. So we're going to look for a UI button and we can drag a button into our project and I'm going to drag this to the top here. We can type in new page and I'm going to center that up nicely. And we're also going to be adding another view controller to our storyboard. So I can drag that in. Ah, it didn't go in. There we go. And I'm going to drag this to the right as well. And if for some reason you're having trouble nav navigating around or you want to be able to see more things, you can use the minus sign here to kind of see a bigger view of your storyboard and then you can zoom back in. You need to be zoomed in to make a lot of the changes to your storyboard files. So I generally stay zoomed in. So now we have this new view controller file, but we need a, a view controller to actually manage it. So we have to create a new file and we're gonna go to iOS Cocoa Touch Objective-C class and it's gonna be a subclass of UI view controller because we just dragged in a UI view controller object and we need a UI view controller class to manage it. So we're going to use subclass of UI view controller and we're going to call it CC detail view controller. We can press next and press create and I'm going to drag these below the view controller and we're going to go back to our main storyboard file and the first thing we always want to do when we create a new view controller class is set up the class that manages it. So we're going to go to the identity inspector and set the class to be CC detail view controller. And we want to make sure that we put that in properly so we confirm that that stays. And now we have two files, right? Our header and our .m file, which are going to manage this view controller. The our original view controller is managed by the CC view controller .h and .m file. So it's two different view controllers because we have two different view controllers on our storyboard. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add a push seg so that when we press our button here we're able to transition to the detail view controller. So let's go ahead and drag to our detail view controller and let's add a push. And notice that it automatically adds this navigation bar on top and when we transition this new view it'll automatically create this back button. Now if we want this back button to be named something nicely, we can go over to our navigation bar here and let's go to the attributes inspector chat tab and change the title to first page. This wasn't required as part of the challenge, but it's useful if you want to change the back button's title. Um, so the next thing we want to do is we want to add a text field to our view controller. And we're also going to add a label to our detail view controller. Now one of the things we're going to highlight here is which file do I hook each thing up to? Well I'm going to hook up my text field to the ccviewcontroller.h file. So I'm going to hold down the alt key and click on it. And we can control drag into my project here. And let's simply call this text field. And I'm going to go back to single view again. Now when I hook up my label, I'm not going to hook it up to the ccviewcontroller.h file because that's not the view controller that manages this view controller on our storyboard here. The view controller that manages this is, is this detail view controller. So I'm going to hold down the alt key and press on cc detail view controller.h and control drag again. We can call this label and connect this up. So notice that we're connecting view objects up to their proper header files. So we're going to go back to single view again. 
So what we need to do is we're going to need to pass the information in our text field to our second view controller and update the label appropriately. So how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to use the prepare for seg method inside of ccviewcontroller.m and then we're going to do a little bit of introspection on it. But before we do that, we want to add a property to ccdetail.h so we can pass this information. So let's go to ccdetailviewcontroller.h. Let's add a property. And we're going to say strong, not atomic. And we're going to give this type on a string. And the inf we're going to call this information from text field. Now let's go ahead and implement the method prepare for segue inside of ccviewcontroller.m. So we're going to do void prepare for segue. And I'm going to do some introspection here. So we're going to say if sender is kind of class. Well, we know that the thing that's going to cause the segue is our UI button. So we're going to say UI button class. And we're going to add a second if statement. We're going to say if, uh, let me just put these up nicely next to each other. If um, segue dot destination view controller is kind of class, and we're going to say, well, we need to import it, right? We need to import detail uh, view controller class. So this way, we'll be able to compare or create uh, the detail view controller class here. So we're going to say CC detail view controller class, class, and I'm going to add my right bracket here, and we're going to add our, our curly braces. And now what we're saying, if our sender, or specifically the thing causing the segue is a UI button, go into the second if statement. And if my if the segue is destination view controller, where the segue is pointing to is my CCD detail view controller. Okay, let's do some code. So we're gonna say our CC detail view controller, we can simply say detail VC, which is view controller for short is equal to seg.destinationViewController. And we can next update the detail view controller's property, which is information from text field. And we're going to set that equal to self.textField.text, right? The text information on our text field. So great. Now let's go ahead into our ccdetailViewController.m file and use that property of the information uh, text field that it's sending to us and we're going to update our label appropriately. So we're going to say self.label.text is equal to and we'll set that equal to our property self.information from text field. So let's run our application and see if this all works properly. And oh, I should have used iPhone 4 inch screen here. Just a really good habit to get into. So you can quit out of your, your simulator. Um, uh, you know, we'll just let it run, uh, but I, I could rerun this. It'll still work properly. We can say hello and press the new button. We see that hello populates on our new screen. So this application is working properly. Um, if you want to see it on a foreign screen, we can stop our simulator and rerun it on foreign screen here. And we'll see it come up again. It just gives you a little bit more space to work with. Notice I have like a little bit more space below the keyboard. Uh, let's try a different word this time. So we'll say goodbye. And we see that we could also enlarge our label. So let me just do that really quickly as well, just so that this application looks a little bit nicer. And let's rerun our application. And we'll be able to type goodbye in. And we'll say new page and goodbye will populate on our new screen. So this is really important to learn how to pass information to a new screen as well as figuring out how to segue between screens as well.